So uh, not a ton of snow with this system. I-25 to the north. You get west of there up toward Estes Park. They've already had about eight or nine inches of snow. We're going to get some pretty good amounts of snow into the mountains and foothills. It's going to be a little bit lighter because notice the winds here are going to come out of the northwest a little bit more. But it's still we're going to hold on to the blizzard warnings because northeast Colorado is really going to get pounded. And I think we're going to get enough. We've already got some road closures out there and those winds will be a big problem. Main thing, six o'clock tonight till about noon on Thursday, especially on the northeast plains. I think the metro area by about eight or nine o'clock things will improve tomorrow. So six o'clock tonight, heavy snow coming in, blizzard conditions, northeast plains, snow and windy conditions. We get the roads closed early tomorrow morning on the northeast plains. Lows tonight dropping to about 25 in Denver, some teens with wind chills near zero out of the northeast plains. Tomorrow that blizzard slowly works its way up into Nebraska. Better conditions coming in here by midday and in the afternoon it's windy and cold with some snow showers expected. How cold? Only going to be in the mid to upper 30s for highs for tomorrow. A chilly day indeed. Tonight's forecast, heavy snow, windy, colder. And there'll be bands of snow. Some areas will pick up a little more than others. It's a big, complicated storm. Tomorrow, 35. Tough travel in the morning, windy and cold. The snow showers continue to move away. The blizzard pushes up into Nebraska. Friday, still kind of a cold day with some snow flurries. Blizzards up into Minnesota. And uh, we'll get some rain and snow coming up by Saturday. So your seven-day... Kind of chilly for mid-April. We stay kind of cool and unsettled through Saturday, but better and brighter Sunday, Monday with 60s and a 70 coming back by Monday.